Hey guys, Google 55 Tech Tutorials here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sidechain compression synth in Propeller Head Reason. This synth will give you an effect like what I'm about to show you, but keep in mind that you don't have to use the same synth sound as I do here. Anyways, it will give you an effect that sounds sort of like this. Yeah. Anyways, let's get right into the process. I'm going to be using Reason 6 for this tutorial, but this should work in most versions of Reason. The first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already is open up Reason. You're going to want to switch to the rack view by pressing the F6 key on your keyboard. Next you're going to want to add a combinator by right clicking, going to other, and clicking combinator. This will just make everything easier to manage. Next you're going to want to right click inside of the combinator, go to other, and choose mixer 14 to 2. You can add a line mixer if you'd like, but I prefer the old traditional mixer because of the layout. Next you're going to want to right click inside of the combinator again and go to instruments and click redrum drum computer. After you have done that, you want to go and click show programmer on the combinator up here. You're going to want to click redrum and uncheck the box here that says receive notes. This will make sure that the MIDI notes that you play will not activate anything on the redrum drum computer because we don't want that in our synthesizer. Once you have done that, you can close the programmer by pressing this button again. Okay, now that we have that, in our redrum drum computer, we're going to want to load up a bass drum sample. Click this folder icon here and choose a bass drum of your choice. I'm just going to go ahead and choose one that automatically comes in a Kong patch. So I'll just choose this one here. Once you've chosen it, you'll need to click OK. Next, you're going to want to make sure that your bass drum is selected. And you're going to want to enable the drum beats on 1, 5, 9, and 13. Now if we click Run, that should be what you hear. Okay, now you're going to want to add the synthesizer of your choice. This is the synthesizer that we're going to be applying the effect to. You can load up any synthesizer that you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be adding an, an initialized Thor patch. So I'll go ahead and add that now. But like I just said, you can use any synthesizer that you would like. Okay, now that you've added your synthesizer, you're going to want to right click, go to other, and click spider, audio, merger, and splitter. Now on your keyboard, you want to click tab so we can view the back of the rack and take the audio out from the channel that your bass drum is in to the audio in on the spider, merger, and splitter. This will split the bass sound from your redrum drum computer into several different channels. And you're going to want to put it in the right side, not the left side. Okay, next you're going to want to drag one of the splitted channels from the spider audio merger and splitter up to the next free channel on the mixer. Okay, now you're going to want to right click inside of the combinator again, go to effects and click M class compressor. Once you've done that, you're going to want to drag out one of the spider audio merger and splitters and you're going to want to put it in the side chain in on the compressor. You could go ahead and click tab on your keyboard again and now we're going to make the actual effect happen. So you're going to want to turn the threshold on the compressor all the way down and click the soft knee button. Change the ratio on the compressor all the way to infinite to one. Ch turn the attack all the way down and turn the release all the way up. Okay, now if we go ahead and hit play down here, or we click run on the read drum drum computer, you can see that as I play some notes on my MIDI keyboard, we're getting the effect on the side chain. So yeah, if you don't want the bass drum in your track, it's really simple to take it out. All you need to do is go up to your mixer, and the channel that you put the bass drum into, all you need to do is mute it. Now if we do that again and click play, 
can't hear the bass drum, but we still get the synth effects. So thanks for watching, and I hope I helped. If I did help, go ahead and click the subscribe button for more tutorials like this. Also make sure to click the like button, and if you have any questions, comments, or requests, you can leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to follow Google 55 Tech Tutorials on Twitter, and like Google 55 Tech Tutorials on Facebook to get the most recent technology news. All the links are in the description.